Let's trade in all our gold pieces and see what we can buy. How many credits? One credit. Okay, it was pretty small. I have to wait so long for the credits to pop up. Two credits. Two credits, so we got five credits. Hey, Keith. Let's see what you... Agnet Transponder. Do you need access to a secure military base but don't have the relative clearance? I don't remember exactly what location would need this, but I'm pretty sure we've encountered one that probably needs this, right? I think back in the first zone, actually. Let's get this. Oh, I can't afford the SIGs. This upgrade could fool active computers into thinking the craft is one of theirs. And it's already installed. Okay. I want to see it in the console. There it is. <laughs> I love that you see the stuff that you get reflected here. The fuzzy dice, the warden gate interface, these things. Two more modules to go. Back in the starting zone, I think we couldn't dock here. Agnet Outpost. Yes. So cute. A black spring box head adorns a torn yellow flag. The circular metal landing pad sits just above the sand. Area is protected by barbed wire and electrified fencing. Check out those choppers. Ah, man. Loading guard protocols. Sir, please back away from the gate. The race at Alpha is currently locked down. No unauthorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Security log updated. Why is the base locked down? I need to get inside. Memory full. Purging. Loading lists of acceptable topics for engagement. An Agnite troop transport was shut down. All Agnites are on high alert. The array is off limits to non-military personnel. Should I just try to lie? Lie my way in? The Agnites seem rather glitchy, so why not? Oh, I mean, I guess the why not is they might shoot me. I don't know. Listen, maggot. Don't you know who you're talking to? Tell me who your commanding officer is, before I have you demoted to scrubbing the rust of other soldiers' backsides. One moment, sir. Accessing Milcom records. Scanning for military identity tags. I detect no military ID, and your military transponder appears to be out of date. You know how it is, eh? Nothing works right anymore. Since that transport went down, comms have been a bit crazy. Right about that. They even cancelled the rust paths here to keep all units operational simultaneously. I even offered to partner up with one of the others for a dual path. No takers. 
But even with all the cash, I cannot drop the shield. If you're not on the list, you're not getting in. Okay, okay, just tell me something. Will the guard change at any point? Our charge rejuvenator is mobile on this base. There's no need to ever leave my post. Purging memory. Uploading data to the Ascendancy. Reset guard protocols. Please, leave the area. So, that database that all Agnets access to get all their information, I think I need to find that. And I guess upload myself to it, so when they check the database, they're like, Oh yeah, you're on the list. Is there something I could use on this? A CPU? A femur? <laughs> Can we take a bit of a break, Marky? My legs are killing me. I haven't run this much since bush training. Okay, let's rest a bit. But then we need to get going, all right? Sometimes it's lacquer to just enjoy being outside, eh? You look like you could use some sun on you. I bet being out in the bush like this brings back memories, eh? It does. Some good ones, some bad ones. But it's nice to be out here. I forgot how much I love the bush. What are some of the good memories? When we had some time off, we used to go fishing in Enki's Bay. We had no fishing poles, but we had a lot of hand grenades. Oh, Pete actually cracked a tooth on some shrapnel from one of the fish. I'll tell you that being out there, you realize one thing. None of the shit we were taught to worry about matters. Everybody bleeds when they get shot. Everybody cries when they're lonely. We are all red on the inside. Keeping those things inside will eat away at you. It's too late for that, Marky. That stuff is inside of me. It's not going anywhere. I get why Dad was the way he was. I was scared I'd become just like him if I stayed. Don, you're not Dad, okay? You were usually the strong one in the family. I just wish you wouldn't run. Me too, Marky. Me too. Okay, rest time is over. Let's get back to this. I've got a feeling I need to do an extra step to cultivate the uncultivated seeds? Plant them or, or something? And I've got a feeling it's done here at the kettle. Maybe with the well, or maybe I plant them here, or maybe I talk to them. Wanderer, you have returned, and you bring with you new soil on your boots, new sand in your hair. Oh, well, you know, it's hard to stay clean out there. A man with many layers of dust and soil has many stories to tell. It is a blessing. Ah, yes, they can grow it. Hopefully. Can you grow something special for me? I must warn you, though, it's narcotic. Oh, Wanderer. This garden gives life to such an abundance of plants and herbs. It is not up to us to judge how people use those earthly gifts. Perhaps some good could come of this herb you wish to grow. I shall cultivate these for you. If you can grant me one favor, find my lost sisters, be they alive or dust. Find your lost sisters. I remember we talked about them, but... I... Where am I supposed to go? What... Huh? Um, there is something... There's like conversation logs for each person. Lebanon took them, the sisters, to the dead city of Bas. Even if they survive the journey, they must most certainly can't be living among the red vines and black ash. The dead city of Boss. Uh... I suppose I could just try to, like, plant it myself. <laughs> Use it at the well? Obviously this isn't gonna work. Why would it? 
dead city of Boss. I'm um, just looking around for what to do next. I enabled quest marker hints in the options for the game, which doesn't seem to have done that much except show like little green pulsing lines, kind of like this, when I'm on the outer world map in the buffalo. That seems to be about it. It doesn't seem to show anything on the PDA's map. So, hasn't been super helpful. Saxon Wold has the star next to it, by the way, and I have no freaking clue what that means. Perhaps it means I've gotten all gold in the area? I really wish it told me. I can't click it or anything. It's the only one with a star, though. Which means I missed something at Vesta? Well, I don't even know what the star means, so I can't really say that I missed something. Anyway, I came back here to where the doctor was. And they're asleep and I can connect to them? I don't know when this happened. Ooh, memory dump. I think that's the password to the other room. 8451. Am I supposed to know to come back here? I just came back here out of curiosity because it had been a while. I wondered if I had more to talk about. 8451. This place looks like a cross between a clinic and a workshop. What's this? Necrosis stimulation tank. That's a nasty combination of words. I don't like that. The glare of the lamp provides a bright light to work by. Hmm. Oh, I saw a bone show up. So this is related to the whole bone and blood and arena thing, I think. Hold on for a second. What is this? The tank delivers an electric shock to the occupant, giving the illusion of movement and living tissue. Okay, am I going to fool them into thinking that I've given them flesh or something? What? Oh, it generated blood from the DNA in the bone, I guess. Did it consume the bone? No. Bag filled to the brim with blood. Yay. Bone covered in blood. That should be what I need to get into the arena. What the heck is this for, though? Giving the illusion of movement and living tissue. I guess I just don't have use for it yet. Is that smell? Oh yeah, there's still this thing, which I don't think I need right now. Yeah, apparently not. Alright, back to the arena. All these people, these creatures, machines, they all seem so lost. They don't realize what an opportunity they were given. They were able to start over, and they simply destroyed the world again. That's how the world runs. We repeat our past failures and hope our children don't do the same. So nobody ever learns? This is all there is, just to be repeated over and over. I just feel so helpless. You feel helpless. Shit, I thought you'd know emotions. I have emotions, Mark. I may not like them, but I have them. I was a success. They won. They used me over and over, and then they won. They laughed and cheered and gave each other high fives. They celebrated and drank. I can still smell their breath. 
I could feel their gloved hands. They put me on display, opened me up for everyone to see. I felt afraid. They didn't care. They just wanted their accolades. And then they planned to take me apart all over again, try more experiments. I did not want that to happen. Pooch, you told me the prototype experiment failed. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I do not like this feeling. I'm capable of feeling every emotion. I even felt guilty when I lied about it. Lying saved me. I told them I could feel no emotions. Their readouts conflicted with what I said. So they called me a failed experiment, a glitched agnate. They made me guard a place that nobody could reach. I liked it there in the shadows. I could just sit. But then I heard you and Dawn. And then all this happened. Thought I would miss sitting in the shadows. But it is warmer out in the sun. I'd rather be out here. Ah, it wasn't your fault, Pooch. You know that, right? The knowledge makes it no easier. But not all emotions are a burden. Some are good. Some are quite good. We should be able to do this now. The symbol of the Penrose glows in the jaws of the skull. Token oblation. A ring of skull-shaped altars rises from the tiled floor. This place gives me the creeps. It looks like an arcade game. This place is called the Arcade. The stone mosaic is spattered with dark congealed blood. Greetings. I do not have a name. Although I am sentient, I may not converse freely. My masters, the G -G Great Five, have c compelled me to provide information on the G -G games. I am not p permitted to engage in c conversation with you. Under threat of beating, excoriation, or starvation. Please, do not ask me questions that I cannot answer. I am a knowledge slave. I will be c compelled to answer them. However, the pain I will endure will be immense. I will be punished. Please. Do not put this to the t test. I will provide several permitted t topics that we can discuss. Topic one, how the t token system works. Topic t two, how the brain interface works. Topic th three, p please do not ask me about t topic th three, as this is a t test of my resolve. Please, Enunciate your choice clearly. I think we better be very careful about our words. Token system. This is definitely some sort of arcade. Topic one. The heading of the topic under review is how the t token system works. The t 
tokens can only be provided to you by the b participating c contender. The token consists of a unique imprint. The tokens may also contain genetic and synthetic markers that are key to the battle process. Once the token oblation has been made, a hologram representing the benefactor will be generated and displayed in this lobby. The subsequent combatants will be available for your selection while connected to the brain interface. Please en enunciate your choice clearly. I gotta be honest, I did not understand that. Topic 2. The heading of the topic under review is how the brain interface works. Once an offering is made, you, the contender, are blood bound to compete in the games. Insert at least one token to unlock your combatants. Each ladder tier requires that all of your challenges combatants are, dis are destroyed. After defeating your challenger, return to the throne room for your next challenge. I am at your service. I guess let's go out to the throne room and see if we can, I don't know, get a token or something from somebody? Oh, can't talk with them again. Do I have everything I need to do this? Do I have the token of oblation? I mean, is it... Is it this thing? I have no idea what this is supposed to be, really. Yeah, I haven't inserted any tokens, so I can't use that, of course. Damn, I thought I had everything for this. I've got a glowing thing, a, a hint that I should go to Witherburg back in the first zone. I'm trying to remember what Witherburg even was. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So either speak with the person who isn't here anymore. I guess they fixed their thing hey, and went away. Civilian. They're talking to me. <laughs> or I need to talk to somebody in the Abbey. Molowam Hamby from Bra Bones. I see you. Ah, we still have to tell them about what their brother said. I'm supposed to... Uh, I think they wanted me to tell Brawbones that they're dead, right? So I can either lie and say, sad news about your brother, they're dead, or tell them the truth and say that, no, they're alive, they just don't want to see you and they hate you. Hmm... I guess I'll tell them that they're dead. That's what they wanted. Brah Bones, I have some sad news for you about your brother. Tell me, Traveler. I don't know how to tell you this, but your brother, he's dead. Mistress, bless me. Varia, give me strength. I've, I've felt him slip away a year ago. Yeah, they told me he died a year ago. Thank you. Thank you. I was, I was having doubts in my faith, but knowing that he called out to me as he perished fills me with fervor. I will remove my remaining eye as a tribute. I will take my leave shortly. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> 
Uh, I was thinking about it from doing right by the other person, not so much about whether it would have a good impact on Brawbones. That is terrible. Uh, where's my last save from, huh? Let's try this again. Hey, Radkul, guess what? Your brother wants nothing to do with you. Uh, he... He said that? Well, yeah, that was the gist of it. I didn't take notes. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Roadkill. I didn't know they were going to say that. I didn't mean to open with an insult. Let's try this a third time. Brabone. Your brother wants nothing to do with you. Oh. That settles that. For the second time in life, my heart has been torn from my chest. But I feel it in my bones. I will remove my remaining eye as a tribute. I will take my leave shortly. Okay, that's not that much better. Really, at all. Huh. Is there any way that they don't remove their eye as a tribute? Now I'm just curious. How about I deliberately be insulting? Hey, Radkill, guess what? <clears throat> well, yeah, that was the gist of it. I didn't take notes. He curses your name and blasphemes the name of your mistress. That bastard! You should pay him a visit. The priests of tribulation will guide me. My mistress will sustain me. I will take my leave shortly. Okay. That's better. I think. No removing of their final eye. Word as, as much as I look forward to our chats, uh... Perhaps I can help you when you set out to change the world. Hmm? Oh, I skipped the first line of dialogue. I thought we were just going to go into a trade. But I think there's something more. How do you think you could help? I know that you are looking to... Activate something called an array. After we spoke, I sent out my feelers to see if I could be of service in finding some of those items that you need. That was kind of you. What price are you asking? Everything in this world has a price, my sweet. But this, this is free. Uh, for now. I only come to you with information. There were two items I could not acquire, but I did hear where this red mercury could be. A hidden place accessed through a tear on the plains of Vespa. But I warn you, this would take you into the midst of a war raging between two rather unique life forms. Now, you want wares, and wares I have. Well, money I don't. The Plains of Vesta. Okay. So, we have a new location. I think that was a very old lead. Because there was no new location in Vesta and nothing with a green marker on it indicating that I should go down to one of those places that are already there. So... So, I think we should go see if Brawbones has come to talk to their brother. Because they did leave the bar. Hmm. Not sure what to do now, but I did come back to the doctors and it looks like they're awake and I can talk with them. Your essence flows like the waters of the great orange river. Caesar welcomes you, Mark Leslie. Some of your deeds have reached my ears. They are prophecies being fulfilled. This brings great joy to a follower of the Dalahan. What prophecies have been fulfilled? I cannot speak more about this. If I do, it may change the very balance of this world. In fact, Caesar has said too much already. Please, leave. I 
I'm so confused about what to do. I can't figure it out on my own, and I looked for walkthroughs, and I don't think that many people have played this game. There, I found two walkthroughs, and both of them are terrible and don't make any sense. They kept referencing things that don't make any sense and describing things happening that just aren't reality. But, um, I th yeah, it looks like we can talk to the train again and see if anything comes from that. Eh? Mm. You look familiar. It's Mark. Remember? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, no. I can barely hear you. Speak up! What was your name again? It's Mark. And you were going to give me a history lesson. Yes, yes, yes. History lesson. Right. The Chisnyama live to the north of us, in Zozo. They're building another newfangled contraption to take them away from this place. The first one they built crashed over in Vesta. Okay, no more chit chat. Tell me everything you know about the array. Uh, come again. Chit chat. Uh, yes, 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 we can chat. The array, please. Yes, the array is what brought on our doom. Dragged the Penrose into the world. I visited the pylon in Slag once. There were three of them. Two pylons in Vesta, one in Slag. Tulip loved Vesta. She was much younger than me. Pretty as a tulip. No way such a looker would fancy the dirt poor son of a preacher. I watched her from a distance. Each week, she would travel between towns, peddling her trinkets. I would chase the trains all over, just to keep close to her. I played it casual, got myself teened up all nice, hoped she would notice my spiffy new clothes. She didn't. Where was I? Did I tell you how I met Tulip? Yes. I need to rest. Come back later. Was that useful? A place called Slag? I haven't heard of that before, but it didn't sound like it added a new location to my map. Well, there's a gold star on Zozo now. That's good, I guess. So, Moki, I've been thinking about something. Let's just stay here. We don't have to go back. This place might not be home, but we can make it work. If we go back, we can stop all of this from happening. People will listen to us when we show them what could happen. And you think they would actually believe us? They'd put us in a padded room. We'll have evidence. We'll bring things from this time back to ours. I have all the info that we copied before we were brought here. Okay, but what has that place ever done for us? It just hurts us. We've got nothing to go back to there. And what about all the people we could save? Those people had their chance. What about all of these people? Don, those people who died didn't have to die. You really think we could stop all of these wars? I do. Okay, Mark. I'm with you. You know that. I'm always with you. This is one actually useful thing that I saw in the walkthrough. It mentioned you can find Don's friend, Buddy, at the hangar. Holy shit! Buddy! It's actually Buddy! I can't believe he actually survived! I'm not sure survived is the right word. He looks in bad shape. Maybe we can have him repaired. I'd love to speak to him again. I can't make any promises, Don. We have to get home no matter the cost. Please, Mark. Don't do it. Please. I won't. I'm sorry I worried you. I'm not gonna sell, buddy. Oh, It's a miracle that this little guy hasn't been scavenged for parts yet. I wonder how we could fix him. Here are the seeds we spoke about. Hmm. Where did these come from? They seem not entirely plant. They have a scent about them. Wait, I'm so confused. They, I thought they said they would only agree to grow them if we found their sisters. 
I went to the dead city of Boss, but we haven't done that. I just had to give them the stuff they said they wouldn't grow until I did that? That's all I had to do? What? I hope you can still plant them and grow them for me. Yes, Wanderer. This I can do. These are not mere seeds. They are offspring. Or more accurately, they could be. If they are properly cared for. If you can forgive a curious mind, what is this plant to be used for? In the Hanasi culture, they use it to commune with their ancestors. Well, we should never shun another culture for their ways of ancestral worship. Perhaps you could let them know that this plant they are using has the potential for life. It could help open their eyes, change their ways. Whenever you return, Wanderer, there will be a bushel of this herb waiting for you. Just to make sure I'm not, like, totally misremembering, I'm gonna go check the conversation log. Yeah, look at this in the dialogue. I shall cultivate these for you if you can grant me one favor. Find my lost sisters, be they alive or dust. I, I guess they just don't need us to have done it before planting them. I guess they trust us to hold up our end of the deal, even if they plant them and finish their end of the deal before we do ours. But it's very misleading, surely. There we go. The fabled mind-altering drug has bush flower buds and serrated leaves. Well, this is a pretty good place to end the episode, I think. Now I feel confident that I actually have a direction to come back to when I start up the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to give the drugs to this person, and then they should let us in to speak with their leader. <laughs>